I want to say, first of all, blessed love to the Rastafari brethren and sisters who have trotted on. I'm talking about the ones who have been in the faith from the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, 60s, and 70s, who died as advocates for the legalization of herb, marijuana, cannabis. We have to remember that there were people that came before us who fought for this. There were times 50 years ago where I couldn't stand here and even say the word herb or ganja. Think about that for a minute. Because if you said that word, you would be arrested, brutalized, especially as a Rastafari. Tonight is the media launch for the Rastafari Roots Fest. We're gonna learn a lot about herb and what it has done for not just the music, but for people who have health issues. Now tonight, we're going to celebrate the wonderful music of the Counteract crew. Shimana is here. We're going to commemorate and honor Peter Tosh. And in start to welcome that divine energy of Peter Tosh, I want everyone to clap their hands and make some noise for Peter Tosh. Because Peter Tosh was unapologetic about what he believed in. And because of that unapologetic energy, we are here today. And we can stand and say, give thanks and praises to the works of Peter Tosh. Give thanks and praises to all the works of all Rastafari brethren and sisters who came before I, promoting and advocating the liberty of Rastafari, as well as promoting and advocating herb, marijuana, cannabis. Make some noise for cannabis herb, yes? Boil that up and that make some good tea. It can heal your body. It can do everything, skin problems, it can fix that. This herb is the whole herb because it can do everything. The day you learn about the greatness of this wonderful plant, you will be liberated. Brethren and sisters, right now, going to introduce on stage before we start the night a man who has been advocating and promoting the education and legalization of marijuana. I want you to understand this was not an easy road for him. This is not an easy road for many. They have suffered great tribulation over the 40, 50, 60 years. And I want you to give him a warm, blessed welcome on this stage. Brethren and sisters, as we welcome Russ Ayavi, the man who is in charge, who started the Rastafari Roots Fest. And tonight, inside of the South Florida Media Launch, we honor Russ Ayavi. Please give him a warm welcome in the name of Rastafari. I listen last to the first Ayavi. Give them some praises. Anna. It's a non-alcoholic event, and we bring people from all over the world, lawyers, doctors, business people. We bring people from First Nation, from all over the world, from indigenous groups, to Root Fest, so that we can talk about international politics and the way out for us as indigenous people and as people all over the world who suffer on the hands of Euro-American colonialism. It's multifaceted in the sense that it's a non-alcoholic event. We focus a lot on health and wellness. So you have a lot of yoga, you have a lot of natural juices, natural food. We have a ganja competition where we get ganja from all over Jamaica and get it scientifically tested and manually tested. And based on those information, we can determine who is the winner, whether from a sativa point of view, from an um, uh, indica, indica point of view, whether it's from a hybrid. We, can, we have 10 classes. We have oil, we have ash. But that is where the ganja cup is concerned. We also have a music aspect of it. And give thanks this year We'll be having, as our headliner, 
the youth called Chronics. Otherwise, we call him Jamar. But you know him as Chronics. We have Ken Bood. We have Samurai. We have Warrior King. We have Nature. We have our sister who we hope to see in Jamaica, Shamana. But we have others. But that is musical aspect of it. But the music aspect is really the complementary or a complement complementary part of the event. We don't want the event to be just focusing on music. The message of the event is for us as a people to come together, acknowledge the benefit of herb ganja, acknowledge that the, the rights of indigenous people all over the world have been violated. Their land have been captured, their rights violated, their resources exploited. So Root Fest is all about us coming together to call on the international community to recognize the rights of oppressed people. Different, different times the UN established, different, different eras. Now is the time for us to establish our own thing and to call and to continue to call for equal rights and justice. That is basically, in a nutshell, what Rastafari Root Fest is all about. 